Hi guys, welcome to another exciting tutorial. This is Jay from Infinite Visions. Uh, sorry, I was away for a while and I couldn't do any tutorials lately. I've been re really, really busy with work. Um, thanks for most of you who's following me and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much. Anyways, guys, I did this tutorial a couple of months ago and um, most people complained saying that it was too hard to follow. And and Paul recently requested to draw everything and show him how I actually created the template. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. It's nothing new, but I'm just going to go in much more detail this time. Alright guys, let's get started. First thing you want to do. Go to File. Click New. And this pop-up will come up. On the width size, you're going to give it 1024 pixels. This is the average computer resolution. So make sure whenever you build a website, make sure that it doesn't exceed 1024 pixels because most people are still using Windows XP. And you wanted to make sure that it fit in every computer. I know, I know, now we got latest technology such as responsive websites. But again, we want to be on the safer side, okay? Let's try to build a website with maximum uh, width of 1024 pixels. Or at the height for this tutorial I'm going to use 800 and resolution you can leave it 72 for web 72 is good enough and we're gonna press ok or enter alright now we get a canvas now I'm gonna show you how I created the actual template let's let's go back and have a look at the template okay what did we do here we created a box with this color so we're going to copy the color. You can click on um, Control C on Windows or Command C on Mac to copy the color. And what else did we do here? Nothing really. And so let's go back and create that header. Okay, we created the header. Now the header is done. Go to layers. We name this header what's the next thing that you wanted to do next thing is creating the slider which is this and let's check again what we did here Let, let's check the height first and the color what color did we use here okay we use kind of light grayish color so again control C or command C on Mac go back and we're gonna create We're gonna be creating that. Okay. And one last, one more thing I forgot to mention. We have a line here. Uh, we also have a line here. You can see the color. You can click on that and copy the color. Control C or Command C. And the line is basically one pixel line. So you can go back and go there and paste the color. Then give one pixels. A couple of other things we can do guys if you click on this drop down here you can choose different effects like dotted you know do whichever whichever one you like but I'm gonna stick to the straight line okay so once that's done the next thing you want to do you want it to create the Content background, which is this white background with with a gray line. So we just this time we're just gonna go and copy this color for the line. So Control C or Command C, and also we're gonna check the height. So we're gonna go back to our document, and we're gonna create. Okay, I think that should be fine. And then we're gonna go here and give it the color for the line. Okay, that's done, guys. The last thing you wanna do, create the footer. So copy the color. But again, you don't have to copy, guys. Obviously, I'm copying from this document to that document, but you can also give a different color if you want. For example, um, let's move this up a bit. 
Okay, we're gonna draw a box here. If you want, you can give it a different color. It's, it's, it's up to you guys. You can give any color that you want. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. Alright, let's rename this one by one. Okay, that, um, that is content background slider background, and finally the foot. Okay, that's done. The next thing I think I did was creating a logo, which was simple actually. So. I just typed company and I, I don't know which font I used in my old one I can go back and check but let's just let's just use a random text for now okay let's use that bold copy and paste or you can duplicate it by holding alt on the keyboard and hold shift to move it on straight line now we're gonna change that to name and probably we're gonna change that change the color to probably that I know it doesn't look that good but this is I'm just doing this for the tutorial purpose and I'm just kind of lazy guys so I'm just gonna copy and paste this text in there but again if you wanted to know how to create space between these text tap home then press tab on the, on the keyboard tab key and that's how I created the space okay And the great thing about firework guys when you move the content around it will snap to certain locations so which is really good so right now it's snapping to them content background so which is really good which is something that you can't really do in Photoshop you gotta manually create the rulers and grid anyways um next thing that you want to do let's check what we have there okay you got a title there Okay, to create a title again, Lura it's um, or you can just say welcome text or slider text. You can give it bold. And what one thing I need to tell you guys, I mean, when you choose bold in fireworks. It's completely different to the bold you actually use on the website. So if you are using bold here, this is not how your text gonna appear on the website. So please do bear that in mind. So let's use that bold there. Okay. And we need to insert a <coughs> dummy text now for the slider. So we use we go to command text, then choose Lure Ipsum. Uh, change the text to I don't know Arial 12 pixels let's see what we have in there okay And let's change the height to 150. Uh, let's put 175. Basically, we're just adjusting the height between each line. Okay. Okay. The next thing you want to do copy the computer. Okay, I'm going to press Ctrl C and go back and press Ctrl V.
again guys um, if you want to insert a new image you can go to either go to I uh, can go to import uh, where is the image just try to find an image guys um, and you can just you know you can insert any image you want okay so that's how easy it is to insert images okay so <clears throat> that's done Okay, let's look at what, what other things we did okay we got a title there and we got two dummy texts so I'm not gonna go and recreate this again but if you want me to recreate it let me show you how it's done um, let me get rid of one of them you just go to command text there's a lure epsom once that's done go to properties and check we need to give we need to change the text to Vedana 11 pixels and we need to give the height 170 that's it guys that's done then inserting image the computer I'm just gonna copy and paste for to save time and last thing you wanna do you wanna copy and paste your header and bring it down right in the middle normally this is what we do guys um, when we type something in the footer we just Tap the name, then space, then we tap that bar. I don't know why we type it, but we've been doing this for many years. So you do what about you don't have to do that, but I'm I'm used to this. Okay, once that's done and then the next thing we normally do the copyright thing in fireworks you can insert special characters well, I'm not sure where it is but it's somewhere around here yeah special characters and click on copyright ah, okay now it's up here now I can type copyright 2013 and we change that to 11 and one last thing we need to do uh, I also I remember creating a button so let's go back and check oh yeah look the button the read more button let me show you how I did that as well you can just click on rectangle and draw a rectangle and either you can click here to fill the gradient and you can manually choose a gradient if not you can also do this you can make your job easier you can go to effects panel on the side and go down here and choose any I mean choose any effects from here with CS6 I think there are hundreds and hundreds of effects so you can choose anything that you want anything that you think is anything that you think that uh, that is relevant to your design okay we're just gonna type read more and that's it guys the design is done and now I hope most of you are happy with this tutorial and if you got any suggestions or feedback please do get back to me and I will do my best to um, answer you guys back and thanks for watching guys thank you and have a good day bye for now and one more thing one last thing please do subscribe to my channel thank you